Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you for subscribing. For sure. Alright, so... We're back here with part two... Okay, it's going to be hard for me to show you every little detail of hooking up this, uh, this tiller handle, but I'll do the best I can. Okay. Make sure you got the right bushing. Some of them, you can see this one has cutouts that fit the bossing on the aluminum. And you got to kind of pinch them until you get them right. Uh, yeah, so, there you go, getting close, there you go. <clears throat> That'll smash in hopefully once I get it in. And on the inside, I put the retainer, this thing. So you got to feed the cable through the retainer, and then through the bushing, put the bushing in there, out here, and then make sure you got the right bushing and so forth there. And I would go through this, if you've never done this before, I would uh, do it a couple times, dry run. And uh, because it, it can be, there's the retainer, I'm gonna go ahead and put probably two of these spring washers or whatever you call them in there. So now that's all through. The retainer, a couple of the uh, spring washers, then that goes, and then I put the bushing on there, which I stuck in there, so it all goes through the bushings. Like I'm so. And it's, it's tight. So, you get everything kind of like that. Now, what about all this stuff? What about all this? Okay. I should have cleaned that up some. Let me clean that up a little better. Alright. Hello, geesums. Alrighty. Now, the cable, as you can see, there's a slot to feed the this end through, and then the round part. Hello. So, get that through. You can see it come through. YouTube Cody Bass. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. So, I got everything I think. All right. So, now you're going to kind of mash it in there a little bit without doing your bushes too bad. Okay. So, you got to get everything through there. Where'd my other piece go? Then this. Hopefully you're there. Get that up on there. Slide that up on there. Come over here. Get in the ballpark. Like I said, this is finesse stuff here, really, but I guess is what I'd call it. Okay. There we go. Now we reach in and get the cable. Yeah, it looks fun, don't it? Okay, now you twist the handle to your slot, which in this case is going to be the furthest slot away. This is just how I do it. I don't know. There's probably an easier way. There's probably an easier way. But I ain't found it today. Then you get that little, whatever you call the end, cable end. And it can only go in when it's straight up and down. Yeah, it went in. And you use your nail and everything. Now reach over and pull the cable. 
end. I kind of blew that. There we go. That's working. It's hard for me to do this and film it. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, now that we're all lined up like such, you got to make sure this thing <laughs> gets in its right place, which ain't right there. It goes in a little slot there. That goes in a little slot there. All right. Now we got to push everything. I'm going to move your camera. Maybe I can get a better angle. Let's see if this works any better. Uh, no, that, that made it worse. I tried to get a better angle for you, but now you just gotta get your 10 millimeter nut and there's some holes with some posts that stick out on the inside of this thing. They can only go on one way. It only goes on one way. Look, my brush in one of my washers come off in there. Back on, sort of, kind of, maybe. Tough business. There it is. Now, I got everything mushed together. I got my cable in there. 10 millimeter screw. And this is tight, boy. This one's tight. See if I can move that out of my way. I did. Get the bolt in there. I got it. Wrong spot. I know I wished I could film this better for you, but once I get it started going up, maybe I can. Try and grab this with the uh, hard to do. You know what I'm gonna try? Yeah, try that. Hey, it might work. It might work, by Joe. Somebody's pulling up. Okay. Getting somewhere. Hello. Hi. All right, you can see it down in there a little bit. There's the 10 millimeter nut there. Here's the retainer. There's all the shim washers. You can see I got a lot to draw up on. There's the cable fed under and around to that slot. Here's this retainer. Now I just got to tighten up a 10 millimeter bolt. Oh. Yeah, you're still in there. And I'm hoping I can use my ratchet one. Alrighty, have fun. All my little tabs are lined up.
smaller 10 millimeter. There we go. Don't get it too tight, but tight enough. That feels good right there. Now, that looks pretty good. Now, if you can see right there, there's the end of the cable that would pull the carburetor level. All right, so I turn my throttle. So that's working. Yeah. So that'll do. Um, hopefully you can see in there. That's the 10 millimeter nut I was working with, and there's the little tabs that it lines up. You can see how I fed the cables through, put the shims in there. So it's a pickle. Okay, on the old carbon denator, I took it off, and it's actually pretty clean inside. Um, yeah, it's the bowl looks good and everything, so I think I'm just going to give her a squirt of tri-flow. Um, most of the dirt was exterior, so I'm just going to gonna clean that off a little bit with my wire wheel. Yeah, she actually looks pretty clean. So I'm just going to give it a couple squirts of tri-flow. Even down there, it's nice and clean. Um, put some tri-flow in there. In the fuel pump. And zip it back together. That's all I'm going to do with the carb right now. Alright, I got her all back together. Um, all cleaned up. If you look right in there, you can see the old carburetor cable linkage and throttle is all good. Everything clean up under there. You see all that? She's all clean. Pretty. All geased up. Fresh gas. Always fresh gas. Insider. Um, so, I say let's put her in the tank. See what we get. Just a little more. And then we'll do that because I need room to start it. Um, so choke it and you'll see what I see. <laughs> Thank you. 
with me, girl. He's pretty good for a little one. I can get you over in there. Yeah. Some kind of look at this where they spilt something on it, just eat, eating the rubber away. Starting fluid, probably what it was. But you can see she cleaned up nice all in here. Remember how that carburetor looked earlier? Ugh. Yeah, that carburetor was a mess. We got that cowling off, got everything clean. Oh, looky there. Look, isn't that a big difference? Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Remember these little guys? I put the other one on and forgot to put this side. So, you got to put that in there. Oh, okay. Okay, here's one last look at this little cutie. Nice long shaft. And she cleaned up nice. Runs good. Uh, tiller's all fixed now. I still need to get a transom clamp, a back latch, and uh, 
a tilt pin, a little pin that goes in those holes so you can tilt it where you want it. But and, and I have all that stuff in my bone pile, so I just run out there and get it. But right now it's rainy, yucky, yucky, rainy. Started raining, so I ain't gonna do it today. But there's there she is, and what a nice little kicker. Um, and like I said, no no miracle cure is here really. Um, just just elbow grease. Yeah, I had to do the tiller handle, but like I said, I saved them parts. So, um, but there's one last look at her. She's a beautiful little coyote. Yes, she is. And she purrs like a little kitten. And, uh, let me close my vent. I forgot to close my vent. But yeah, I've got my bunches of these tiller clamps and little plastic parts that break. That's why I saved them. So. Oops, sorry about that. So. Got us a nice little Yamaha cutie here all fixed up and ready to get to work. Um, but now I gotta make a decision. Do I want to keep my little Evan Rude 3.3 and use this as my emergency backup trolling kicker on my boat? Because I do like that neutral function. My little 3.3 Evan Rude don't have that. It starts in gear. So I do like that neutral feature. Um, but she came out nice. And that's going to be a wrap on this video. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.